Thank you everybody for coming today. Um, today, as Richard said, it's the ESRC event and it's been held and run by CTIO. The first act in itself, uh, the premise of the first act is about capturing the voice of the customer. Um, it's a little sketch run by Joby and James and um, it's an abstract that holds common, a common theme throughout many industries. Uh, we've chosen um, to base it on the music industry because nobody here has any association with the music industry. So it, it left us with a common ground. So just take that in. Okay, guys? All right. the voice of the consumer. And I am the voice of industry. <laughs> Don't be afraid to laugh. <laughs> oh. um, hello there. I was just wondering, did you invent this? I was think leader on that particular project, yes. Um, brilliant. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, could you help me make this waterproof? I will try and action your request synergistically. Does that mean you're going to do it? Okay. Can I stir fry an idea in your think walk? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Control panels, wireless, that's the buzzword. It's Lady Gaga. Right, let's think. Um, we'll call it electric boomerang. We'll get the marketing boys. Put lipstick on the pig. I think it's working. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I, I just want to listen to music when I, sh when I shower. And... Okay, that's going to be hard. About 20 million for the screen, development, R&D. Okay, I'll get industry. It's going to take seven months. I was hoping for something a little bit sooner, to be honest. Okay. You're right, I need assistance. I need assistance. Matthew, you've been voluntold. Get up here. Wait, oh, you took out your pen of its little plastic case. You haven't earned yeah. it. Sit back down. You're off the team, I'm very sorry. You took that well. I like the way you did it. You're back in the wolf pack. We need someone who can wear the trousers and take out the trash. Right, right? okay. Did you see that? <laughs> Business. Okay, shoot. You don't seem to be taking me seriously at all. Uh, to be honest, the battery life's not great either. Look, stop blame storming, right? I've already had my lunch at Aldesco today. Yeah? If you've got enough diesel for the generator, it should be fine. What are you talking about? It's just a simple problem. You can fix it with a screwdriver, I'm sure. It's a bit early for cocktails. Joke. Laughter. <laughs> Experience. Business. Shoot. The war thing situation? Okay. Um, I'm just going to go into a think squat. <laughs> okay, height. Sorry? Height. 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 Come on now. I'm, I'm expanding your horizons. Height. You're in the shower. Come on, you're getting sudsy. Right? <laughs> it's not getting wet. We put it in the roof, embedded. Right? It's going to go. 20,000 for marketing, 20 million to send it to the Asian markets. Oh, how are we going to do this? This is like putting socks on an octopus. We can do it. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Okay, it's going to be about 15 million for the R&D. Screens, waterproof. Uh, let me think. We need to get the alpha pups, the 16 to 24 year olds. That's where the money is. It's going to cost an extra 2 million. All right, this is going to cost you initially. Oh, shit. Again. Right, new agenda. How am I going to feed my children? <laughs> it's happened again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to introduce the second act of our wonderful actors. I uh, hope you enjoyed lunch. Whilst the first part was about the complexities with capturing the voice of the customer, the second part is more on the other side of the spectrum where we're dealing with an overemphasis on customer-driven innovation. So we have a very powerful customer who absorbs most of your innovation resources. And this part is how you manage uh, these customers and what are the um, implicit or explicit risks with 
ignoring te technological develop developments, only focusing on what your customer says with regards to your uh, innovation projects. So, the stage is yours. In this sketch, I'll be playing the music industry. And I'm a customer consuming their music. Music is great and music is free. Music is the world to me. All right. This is the 18th century. Stringed instruments have just been properly invented. This is the ukulele. It's the symbol piece. Learn this. It's the shit. We'll buy all your music. Um, <laughs> listen to it loads. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, eight and six, yeah. <laughs> um, love what you're doing, keep up. That's probably as far as it's going to go. I, I mean, I don't, te I, I, technology I, I, goes, you're going to have to learn that. Uh, you, come on. Play it. Yeah, better. Play it, actually play it. Thank you. Right, we'll be back in a bit. In the 18th century, the rock was all the rage with folks like Amadeus Mozart taking to the stage. But when it came to solo singers, the audience got bored and a cappella musicians were forced to learn the harpsichord. Cause music is great and music is free. Music is the world to me. Sorry, we were wrong. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, just it's very popular now. You have to learn that. So it's not just this. No, anymore. no, no. Sorry, we want this now. And that's as far as it's going to go. I this mean, is definitely. How much voice can you fit on a square inch? That's that's just, just keep a. Right, I'm going to go promiscuous sex and fill my house with asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> As the years went by, technology grows and were more reluctant to see live shows and now they just want a song they can play in their bedroom and the vinyl industry was making headroom cause the grooves in their vinyl are an analogue representation which transmit the sound waves as a musical vibration everybody <laughs> the music is great and music is free music is the world to me <laughs> no the vinyl is the future surely don't give it to me. You just squander it around. Represents the charity shops. This is the new thing. This is probably it for now. Like actually, this is it forever. It's space age technology. I can't see what else they can do to that. Look at it. I don't know how it works. Um, I'm gonna go vote for Maggie Thatcher. Yeah. Now people want to hear a song as they walk down the street, which makes vinyl records pretty much obsolete and the commercial cassette tape was put into production it magnetizes the music in a process called induction because music is great and music is free music is the world to me Yeah. And you sure this is it now? This That's is... it. Invest all your money in that. I can't see this industry imploding in 10 years. I say, I'd say that is probably all you need to worry about and invest all your resources in for the foreseeable future. Good luck. I'm going to go invest in Europe. Back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> In the early 90s things got a bit bizarre Now they don't just want a song that they can hear in their car They want tapes in their boots and CDs in their fridge They want a CD player thinner than a CD actually is Actually, this is getting a bit too much for me now I mean, 
This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I've, I've done everything you've asked. I've learned something that I didn't even know existed. I, I transmitted my voice onto vinyl for, for willpower alone. I, I made my voice into light, for Christ's sake. I just... Hello? Are you listening? Hello? What are you doing? This is my iPod. Your what? Now. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm listening to the music I downloaded. I found this great new song. Like music or some shit. <laughs> but this is the CD. Was... Well, is, is this the new thing now? What do you mean? This downloading. Is that, is that a new thing? You, you, you don't need to get involved. I, I downloaded it. What do you mean? Free. You know, heard. It's all the rage. Yeah, costs nothing. It's brilliant. See you later. <laughs> so as it turns out, the consumer was wrong. All they wanted was free access to music all along. Now illegal downloading's the thing we didn't think about the future. It's amazing what can happen when you listen too much to the consumer. Now there's nowhere else to go in this music industry. Can you spare some change for me?